BART HAS A LONG LIST OF PEOPLE WHO SHOULDN'T BE ON THEIR TRAINS. Yeah, BUT IF YOU'VE BEEN NAUGHTY, HOW CAN THEY ENFORCE THE BAN WHEN TENS OF THOUSANDS OF COMMUTERS RIDE THAT BART EVERY DAY? THE KPIX 5'S DA LYNN ASKED BART HOW THEY CAN KEEP TABS ON THE RAIL'S WORST OFFENDERS. DA? Yeah, it's a tough task. More than 300 people are on the BART ban list. It's basically a restraining order designed to keep violent riders out of the transit system, but BART admits it's not perfect. The BART prohibition bans some of the worst offenders, from people convicted of domestic violence on BART platforms to this. And run, run! Assault. <laughs> This naked man was one of the very first people banned from BART after he attacked passengers and station agents in San Francisco last year. It gives us the ability to uh, make an arrest and, and remove them from the system for uh, trespassing. Since the BART bans went into effect 18 months ago, 339 have made the list, some for up to a year. They're going to be kept out of BART and our passengers and our workers are going to stay safe. BART police admit enforcement is tricky. 400,000 people use BART on a daily basis. They say it's impossible to identify and prevent those offenders from using BART. They say station agents are the first line of defense looking for repeat offenders. The other way to ID them is when officers respond to service calls. We'll check that person for wants and warrants. We have an internal uh, database and we keep track of who's been issued uh, the prohibition orders. BART police believe it's another tool to keep trains and stations safe, but not everyone thinks they're on the right track. What if they're having a bad day? What if for some reason they're intoxicated or under the influence and it's a one-time deal? They should be, you know, unable to use a public transit system because of one mistake? Uh, I really don't think that's fair. BART says it's simple. If you violate someone else's right, then you lose the privilege to use BART. By the way, domestic violence is the category that has the highest prohibition orders. Live at the West Oakland BART station, I'm Da Len, KPIX 5. Well, the law creating that BART ban is set to expire at the end of the year, but it's expected to be extended through 2017.